Welcome to Zoo3D. This short video will take you through all the key aspects of creating a complete animated film with sound effects, music, titles and credits. You need a camera. Any webcam or digital camcorder will be fine. You will also need something to animate. For this example, I'm using a standard webcam and a plasticine character. OK, let's begin. When you open Zoo3D, you are greeted by this welcome screen. Here you can open any recent animations you've been working on by clicking on one of these links or you can click the green new project button to start a new animation. Then enter a name for your animation and click create. Here we can see the main Zoo3D interface. You can see I've set my character up in front of the background and positioned my webcam to look at him. We're now ready to start animating. You can take frames by pressing the red button here. Frames are the individual pictures which make up your animation. You can also take frames by pressing the buttons 1 to 9 on your keyboard. Number 1 will take 1 frame, 2 will take 2 frames, and so on. If I press number 2, you'll see Zoo3D has taken 2 more frames and added them to the animation. Now I'll start to animate my character. As I move his arm, you can see a ghost-like image of where he was before. Zoo3D is showing us the current live image from the camera, overlaid upon the last frame we took. This is useful to see how far you've moved your characters, and if you accidentally knock them over, you can stand them back up again in the same place. If, whilst I was animating, I accidentally took a picture of my hand and carried on taking frames, I'll be able to spot the image of my hand in the timeline, down here. I could then click on that particular frame, and either click on the yellow dustbin, or press the delete key on the keyboard to delete it. I'll just take another frame to replace the one I've deleted. Here you can see the current frame of the animation. So far we have 10 frames. By default, Zoo3D is set to playback at 12 frames a second. If I take just a couple more frames, you'll see we have one second of animation. At any point in time, you can play back your film by pressing on the blue play button in the timeline. The green play button up here only plays back the last 10 frames of your animation. This is useful if you have a long film, say 3 or 4 minutes, and you want to watch back just the last little bit you've been working on. At the moment, we want to watch the whole film, so I'll press the blue play button here, and there it is. So far, we've been working in frame view. This is where we can see each individual frame on the timeline. If we were to zoom out using the slider over here, we would enter clip view. Here, instead of seeing each individual frame, you can see and work with groups of frames as clips. I want to copy and paste this clip in order to make my animation longer. I can just right click anywhere on the clip here and click copy. Then right click anywhere at the end of the animation and click paste. Now when we play back the film, you can see we have the same frames repeated. It would be good if we could have a smooth transition between the two clips instead of the large jump. To achieve this, we can reverse the second clip by just clicking it and then clicking on the blue reverse clip button over here. Now when we watch the film, you'll see his arm go up and then go back down again. I can copy and paste these clips a few times to build up a longer animation, like this. Zoo3D allows you to speed up and slow down your film. To make your film faster, simply slide this slider towards the hair and you can see the film is faster. To slow it down, slide the slider towards the tortoise. This can be very helpful, especially when you're starting out in animation and you haven't quite got the hang of how small the character's movements need to be. Now we have our character animated, we will look at how to add sounds and music. To work with audio, click on the green speaker tab here. Zoo3D comes with a library of music and sound effects. You can also import any sound file from your computer or record your own audio. To import audio, click on the blue button here. Now we can browse through the audio library or choose any sound file that is already on our PC. I'm going to choose some music and I think I'll have some disco music. Try out the audio by clicking on the green play button. If you are happy with it, click on open. Zoo3D will now convert the audio file and add it to your project sound list. It is possible to import any MP3, WMA or WAV file. Now the sound is in our project, but it's not yet part of our animation. To add it to the animation, all we need to do is click and drag it down onto any of the audio tracks in the timeline. 
when it's in the right place, just let go of the mouse button. C3D displays the waveform of the audio on the timeline. If we zoom in, you can see this more clearly. This is very useful if you're animating to a piece of music or to a certain sound effect. Let's zoom out again and watch the film with the audio. It is possible to trim the audio by clicking on the timeline at the point we want to cut the sound. Then click on the scissors. The sound has now been split into two. We can now click on the second part of the sound and then click on the dustbin to remove it. It's now possible to click and drag on the end of the sound to adjust where it finishes. We might want to make the music fade out at the end of the animation. To do this, just click and drag on the fade button on the right and drop it over the end of the sound. Now we can adjust the length of the fade by clicking and dragging like this. If we play back the film now, we can hear the music fade out at the end. To change the volume of the sound, just click and drag anywhere along the top edge of the sound. Now you can move the mouse up and down to set the volume. It is possible to record narration and sound effects straight into Zoo3D. To do this, click on the red microphone button. It opens the record audio window. Type in a name for your sound, and then when you're ready to record, click the red button. Hello! Pressing the red button again stops recording. We can listen to the sound and check it's OK by clicking on the green play button. Hello! If you are happy with the sound, click on save to add the sound to the project sound list. Now we can click and drag the sound down onto the timeline. We can put the sound onto a different audio track. There's no limit to the number of audio tracks you can have in Zoo3D. When we play our film, we hear the music and the sound effect. Hello! All that's left to do now is to add titles and credits. To do this, click on the T to open the Titles tab. Here we can see buttons for adding titles at the beginning of your animation, credits at the end, and subtitles, which in this context are titles with a background that are inserted into your animation. You can also overlay text upon your film. To start with, we'll add some beginning titles to our film. To do this, click on the Titles button. This opens the Title Creator window. Click into this red box and change the text for your title. You can move and resize this box. You can also click and drag anywhere in the window to add a new title text box. Each title text box can have any of these preset styles applied. Once you've chosen a style for your title, you can customise it by clicking on the Customise tab. Here you can change the size of the text, the alignment and the colour of the text. You can choose any solid colour or gradient of one colour to another. You can also change the effects that are applied to this title by clicking on the Effects tab. Here you can control the various effects that are applied to your text, such as the outline, the shadow and even a glow. Once you have the text looking the way you want it, click on the Animations tab to have the option of applying animations to the text box, such as scrolling text and typing out like a typewriter. Just turn on the FX by clicking on the on off button and then preview the title by clicking on preview on the left over here. These animations are applied individually to each of the text boxes in your title. It is possible to change the way the whole title appears in your animation. To do this, click on the title entrance button up here and select which of the many different title entrances you'd like for your title. You can then do exactly the same for the title exit. Finally you can choose the background you want for your title. This can be any solid colour or any linear or radial gradient between two colours. You can also choose from any of the sample images which are included with Zoo3D or click on browse to choose your own images from anywhere on your computer. When you have finished creating your title, click on OK to add the title to your animation. Zoo3D displays the text part of your title on the timeline here and the background of the title is added as a set of frames making up a new clip. I'll just click and drag on the end of my music to extend it to the end of the animation. Now, 
Let's watch the film. Hello! Next, let's add some credits to the end of the film. To do this, simply click on the credits button. This opens up exactly the same window and automatically selects the preset style credits. This is a style which has already had the scrolling animation applied, so I'll just enter some text on my credits. Director uh, David, camera David. Then we just click OK to add the credits to the animation. Let's watch the film. Hello! Zoo 3D also allows you to overlay text upon your animation. To do this, click on the timeline at the point you would like your text to be added. Then click on the text button. Now you can create your title in the same way. I think I'll have a small text box with a style of child's play. And I'll position it text box up here. You can click on preview to see how the title will look on your animation. When you're happy with the title, click OK. You can adjust where the title start and finish in your animation by simply clicking and dragging on the end of the titles. You can also adjust the length of the title entrance effect by clicking and dragging on the fades here. Let's see how it looks now. Hello! One final thing we might want to do is have it so the film fades in and fades out. To do this, just click and drag on the fade icon here, just like with the sounds, and drop the fade over the join between two clips. You can then adjust the fade by clicking and dragging in the same way as before. Let's watch the final film. Hello! Now we've finished our animation, we can export it to a WMV or AVI file, which you can show on your interactive whiteboard, send to your friends, or upload to the animation gallery at zoo3d.com. To do this, just click on File, and then Make Movie. Enter your name for your film, and then click Publish. When Zoo3D has finished publishing your film, you can click on Upload to zoo3d.com to upload your film to the online animation gallery for the whole world to see. All the submissions to this gallery are moderated before they go live and it's possible for your audience to leave reviews for your film. Again, these are moderated before they are live on the site. That's it! We've covered all the key aspects of creating a complete animated film in Zoo3D. My name is David Henley. If you have any problems or questions about using Zoo3D, you can get in touch with me via the support pages on Zoo3D.com. I really do hope you have a lot of fun making your animations.